for so long I've been trying to get hey, that is our house I'm just stopping by today we always like to come in the morning and see who's here and see if they're working that kind of gets us excited and so I'm not sure who's here they've done the sheetrock and they've done oh of course insulation all that kind of stuff and so I'm not even sure what's next but every week is exciting new stuff gets done so I'm going to I think ride over to the clubhouse and the pool and show you the sunglasses that I have in my car okay this is the back of my house and now I see what they're doing they're putting the siding on the back so that's wonderful and then hopefully they'll paint it soon and that will really make it come together and we're also waiting in the front the roof is going to be tin so that will help too hey guys it's me and the other day I was in my car and I opened up my little center thing here to get my sunglasses out and that it is jam-packed. What I usually do when this happens is I take them all inside and I start over. There's one pair, which are these, that stay in the car because these are my favorite sunglasses. If I had to choose one pair of sunglasses for the rest of my life, it would be these. And they are the Ray-Ban Clubmaster Blaze. So that means that they're flat. I've had the regular Ray-Ban Clubmaster. These are totally different. Um, they're not quite as harsh and sharp as the regular ones, and they're probably, I mean, a third as light. They're just like feather light, and they never, ever, ever hurt my nose. They usually don't leave big indention marks. I don't have to keep pushing them up. The only negative is that they can't just go up in your hair. Sometimes, in some occasions, like say I'm going to be walking in and out of places, then maybe I would pick another pair that I can easily put in my hair, put back on, put in my hair, put back on, so that I don't have to put them up in a case or put them in my purse as much. These definitely would be the ones that I would say get no matter what I think they would look good on anyone I just if you don't have them I don't know why not <laughs> okay so let's go in no particular order we're just gonna go dig through my sunglasses here I've already done a little intro where I show you guys our house I always ride out here in the mornings to just see what's going on it's very close to where we live and it's just so beautiful and the sunshine feels so good it's just a great way to start my day today we had a little bit of a bad i wouldn't say bad but not a good start of the day and that is because our little baby shanane chanel had to be taken to the vet and don't get upset or anything yet she i think may have a and when I say I think, one of them has a urinary tract infection. Jahan the other day helped me. We washed every single thing on our bed. I'm talking duvet, duvet cover, my bare, um, I always want to say bare minerals, but my barefoot dreams blanket, the little gray blanket that's always on the end, the sheets, the pillowcases, everything. And that night, someone peed on the bed on the duvet and it was kind of pink so that meant not only does I mean they never pee on the bed so someone was trying to tell us something well when you have three indoor cats it's hard to tell which one so we changed everything again and the next day we took the comforter that we had to take to the dry cleaners or the laundromat and we put it over our bed so that we could try to catch the kitty that did it. And if they did it on the bed again, it would just be the one that was already dirty. That is one thing that we did. But in the meantime, I was upstairs putting on my makeup in my bathroom and I have a litter box upstairs in, there's like a shower stall type thing in that bathroom and I just have the litter box in it because it keeps it it's just a good place to put it it's out of sight and it's easy to clean the litter out of that shower 
and all that kind of stuff. I never take showers up there. And Chanel came in there while I was putting my makeup on and got in the litter box and just was scratching all around, you know, being kind of obnoxious. And then she jumped out real quick and, you know, flung litter everywhere. And I thought, that was weird. Thought about that. And then she did it again yesterday when I was putting my makeup on. So that combined with the fact that John saw her on the bed again, sniffing around. Then he went and did something, came back. She had just come out of the room and the comforter was peed on again. So that makes us think about 95% sure that it was Chanel. With COVID and everything going on, I had to drop her off. Actually, John dropped her off this morning and they are having to keep her for the day to try to get a urine sample and we're just getting all her shots and getting her just going ahead and getting a full thing done they're considered a senior because she's nine years old they say after seven they're considered seniors so anyway she's getting a, a full checkup and everything i am looking forward to picking her up because you guys know as obnoxious as chanel is she is even sweeter and I miss her. Like even just not having her at the house is just weird. So anyway, that started out the day. And so I came out here to do this and just lift my spirits a little bit. Just feeling like the sun like on my arm and everything feels so good. Okay, the ones I have on, you guys have seen. They're the, my latest Chloe's that I got from Oliver. And I need to stop by and have Kelly show me how to take off the outside of these. I had to guess you probably slide these, but see they have like an extra lens that goes on the outside and then the inside is just pink and round. But I have loved these. I wore them yesterday and I think they're beautiful. Classics, a good old pair of Ray-Ban aviators. These are just the, these are the gold and green, and they're 62 millimeter, which is larger than the typical 58. A classic Ray-Ban aviator is gonna be 58 millimeters, but I like the ones that are just a little bit oversized like this. These would be another pair, kind of like the first ones I showed you that would be a good everyday, keep in your car, pair of sunglasses and this color combination is great because I don't think you can get any more classic than the gold with the green. The only downfall is they're a little heavy because they're glass, they're true Ray-Ban aviators, you know, and they can get a little bit heavy but not enough for me to not wear them. So love these and definitely a classic. The key sunglasses, these have been probably one of my latest favorites. You saw in my haul video, I did get the tortoise shell. I don't know, are they in here? No, I don't think the tortoise shell are in here. I did not care for those, but just on me. I think some people look great with the tortoise frames, but on me, I, in these especially, I just prefer the black. And these are inexpensive, I love them. And these are not, I don't think any of them that I have shown you yet have been polarized. So I will try to mention that as soon as I come across a pair that are polarized. But these are just normal, great sunglasses. Now these are a pair that are great because they can go back in my hair like this. And that's wonderful if you are, you know, like I said, say you're like shopping like at a strip mall or you're just running in the grocery store, something like that then that's perfect with these. Next pair are the La Vida Preve Revo, and I don't think you can get these anymore. I wore these the other day and I could not find them. I love just the shape. I feel like it's kind of retro. I don't know if it's the most flattering on my face because I have a longer oval face and I, sometimes I feel like the bigger sunglasses look better on me but I do like them and the Preve Revo sunglasses I think are probably the best bang for your buck. They are all, or all the ones that I have are polarized. So they're great for the beach. They're just, I mean, the way they're made, you could not tell that they're not Dior or Gucci or anything else. They're not rattly, cheap feeling. They just are fabulous sunglasses. Another pair of Preve Revo. These are my cat eyes. What I love about these is just the solid black look. They're kind of Celine-esque looking. 
and I love the large cat eye. You know, they're bigger, oversized, and I believe these are still available. These are also polarized and great, great beach sunglasses. And these also, you know, go back in your hair. They're awesome. Okay, these are Dior. And I knew when I ordered these that they may sit on my cheeks because I have a little skinny nose which makes sunglasses fit down lower. But I love them anyway. And there's a lot of times I just don't care. Like I don't care, like if I'm going to the beach, I don't care if it messes up my makeup or I might not even have makeup on. Or if I, if I just want the look bad enough, I may wear these and I did not pay full price. I believe they were right around $100, but I just think they're gorgeous and I had to try it. See, th this is the thing. With this tortoiseshell, I like it. And I've got a here. I always keep, I don't know if you guys heard my stomach growl. I skipped breakfast this morning because I slept kind of late. I slept from 10.30. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh. I slept from 10.30 to 8.30 and I think so, maybe 7.30. I'm not sure, but it was a long time. Straight, solid sleep, not even getting up to go to the bathroom. And so I just am gonna wait for lunch. But anyway, I always keep a microfiber in here to clean everything. And, um, but these are the tortoiseshell, but I like these. I think because they're darker, they're not as light of a tortoiseshell. I also keep extra mask in here. These are a new pair, they're so pretty. It's the Chloe. I showed you in a few haul videos ago. Just sweet little round aviator style, very classic. This would look good when you're dressed up, you have a pretty dress on, like a linen outfit. They're just so pretty, but they're very, very mild and calm for me, but I sometimes I want that. These are some Michael Kors, and they are from the Michael collection. Anyway, they're a little bit more expensive than the typical Michael Kors sunglasses. I saw them on their website on the one of the Hadid girls, not Gigi, but can't remember the other girl's name. Anyway, I'll, you guys will be saying it right now. I liked these because I love this. Like these today, I might finish out the day with these on. I love them. One thing, if you were worried about mixing your metals, you know, these are silver. I don't worry about that. I don't worry about that with my handbags or my sunglasses. I just don't think it matters, but if that is important to you, these are silver, but I love them. And they come in several different colors. I think they come in a yellow that's really cool. Another pair of the classic, classic Ray-Bans. These are the gold with the amber, kind of like a amber lens, not I don't get the polarized because these aren't my favorite to wear to the beach. These are the 62 millimeter. They're another classic look. If you don't care for the green, I think the amber color is a great one to have. And these stay in my car most of the time too. Another pair of my all time favorite. I have told you about these many, many, many times. They've been in favorites. They've been in Christmas idea videos. Everyone who gets these loves them. They're the Preve Revo Victoria and they are absolutely one of my favorite pair of sunglasses. At the end of this, I will tell you the ones that I am going to put back in the car. Like I don't even need to take in. Sometimes I'll take them in and give them a good, you know, wash with the like Dawn or something and get them real clean. What do you know? Another pair of the Ray-Bans because I thought I lost these. And it was just, I went back to my storage building. I thought I left them there. I went back to the resale shop that I dropped my clothes off at and they weren't there. And I just thought, I've never lost a pair of sunglasses. This is crazy. And I bought another pair and now I cannot even remember. I think they were left in a handbag that I switched out of, but just, the best, the best sunglasses ever. Here I have a belt that goes with something that I gave to the resale that I need to take to them. And then I have two little hair things in case I need to put my hair up. And I have a toothpick that I am never without here. So wash them real quick. I hate to show you when they're so messed up. So the new key sunglasses that I got 
I will probably keep these in here. Um, let's see, and I will pick one pair of the aviators, probably these with the amber lens. But typically what I do is every day I choose a new pair of sunglasses, kind of like I do a handbag, but there might be some days I either forget, I don't have time, or I just know that there's something in the car. So I will keep these in here, the Victoria. It, I think that's, that's about it. That's probably all I will keep in here. So four pair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was thinking today, in case I don't get to post this tonight, let me go ahead and tell you what makeup I have on because then when I go to edit, I'll forget. Definitely the lip combo. I think that's probably all you care about. Um, and I do have on the new NARS cream bronzer. I love it so much. I love it. So the lip combo is the Chanel Pivon that I have shown you guys. And it is Spanish pink from Tom Ford. My earrings and all my jewelry is Miranda Fry. This is from her, the new collection. Oh my goodness, I can't remember the girl's name. Natalie starts with the N, but what's cool about it is you can to put different charms on this necklace. I've also got the bracelet on and Miranda Fry rings and my favorite nails are the Bonjour Julie, my Chanel watch, and anything else? I will put an outfit of the day at the end of this. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you probably on Wednesday, if not on Friday. Bye-bye.